My name is Kristen Mathis. The colony I have is Massachusetts Colony. My mom was the relative that I chose to use, and I will be comparing different topics between the three of us to see how much has changed. I became a teenager in 2010 and will be one until 2016. My mom was a teenager from 1976 to 1982. Massachusetts Colony was established in 1628, so the teen years that I chose would be 1628 to 1634. I live in Clear Lake, Iowa. We have a lake, great soil, and very cold winters and hot summers. Clear Lake is fair, fairly flat, too. When my mom was a teenager, she lived in Waukon, Iowa. There was lots of farmland and hills. Waukon is a very short drive from the Mississippi River. The colony is located in present-day Salem, Massachusetts. They have very rocky soil, so it's very bad soil to use for farming. Also, they made their colony very close to the bay. There was also lots of woods and trees. They had very harsh winters and warm summers. Clear Lake is unique because we have the surf ballroom. Not only is it a cool building, but Buddy Holly, The Big Bopper, and Archie Balance all had their last performance there. My mom grew up in Walk On, and they have a very old building called the Red Schoolhouse and classes were held there until 1967, and it's still standing. They also have an 1872 wood cabin built by a Norwegian family of eight. Massachusetts Colony was established in 1628 by John Endicott. They came to have religious freedom, even though they really didn't in that per particular colony. It's unique because they were great shipbuilders and merchants instead of the usual farmers. My dad is the high school principal here in Clear Lake, and my mom is a nurse. Like me, my mom's mom's job was a nurse. Her dad, however, was a farmer. She told me that her parents never talked about their jobs at home because it was something that they just never brought up at the dinner table. Since they had such bad soil, most people used the bay for jobs. They became fishermen and small merchants. Some people also became shipbuilders. My chores at home are fairly easy. Usually they consist of unloading the dishwasher, folding laundry, and keeping my own room clean. My mom had to help cook for her 10-person family. She also had to do dishes, mow, work on the garden, and every Monday she would work at a nursing home. The colonists usually had to feed animals, cook, clean the house, and weed the garden. The main way of transportation for me is having my mom drive me around in her Acadia. Bikes are a big way to get around too though. Growing up, my mom's family owned a station wagon and because they lived on a farm, they mostly be used big cars and tractors. The biggest way of transportation was horses, walking, and boats in colonial times. A common food for me to eat is popcorn. My favorite dessert, however, is chocolate-covered strawberries. A very common food for my mom to eat when she was a teenager was homemade mac and cheese, and her favorite dessert was ice cream. Since they lived right next to the bay, their common food was seafood. A dessert they ate was apple or blueberry cobbler. 
The music I listen to is basically anything on the radio. Some popular artists are Katy Perry, Rihanna, Adele, Nicki Minaj, and Drake. As a teenager, my mom used to listen to Air Supply and Barry Manilow. She also listened to REO Speedwagon. The colonists mostly listened to hymns and gospel music, basically anything played at church. Like most teenagers right now, I like Xbox, Wii, anything electronic. My favorite game is Just Dance 3. A lot of the games my mom played were board games. Some were Battleship, Twister, and Monopoly. Most of the games colonists played helped with their skills later in life, such as archery for hunting. They also played blind man bluff and marbles. One big change for me is both of my sisters are gone at college now. When they do come home, we do more stuff together than before now. It's just weird being home alone with my parents and getting all their attention. My mom had a sim similar change as I do. She grew up with seven brothers and sisters, so it was very sad watching one leave every single year. Eventually, she left for college at St. Luke's Nursing School, too, and it's more special now when she gets to see her siblings. One problem Massachusetts Colony faced was the Salem Witch Trials. In January 1692, three girls gave symptoms of possession from the devil. Over 200 people were accused of witchcraft, and 19 people were hung, and one was pressed to death by stones. That doesn't even consist of the people who died in jail, though. Eventually, people started to be suspicious, and it was made illegal to arrest any more witches, and they were released from jail. In 1957, 250 years later, Massachusetts formally apologized to the families. It's funny how you never really noticed how much generations change until you really think about it. I never noticed how different even just my mom and I grew up. I can't wait to see how different my kids' and grandkids' lives compare to mine growing up.